Hey, what's up? It's Philip from Easy Unreal, and let me show you today how to create this uh, landscape. Uh, this is a beginner friendly tutorial, and uh, it will be very, very easy to follow, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this video at the end. And so let's start. If you didn't download the Unreal Engine, you have a link in the description, so check it out. Uh, if you have, let's go games, and over here, let's go first person. Just a quick tip, to move around the editor, hold down the right mouse button and use standard first person shooter keys. To go up and down, use Q and E. And while doing this, scroll the mouse wheel up and down to speed up or slow down the camera. If you are far from the object, use F to focus. To move objects, press W key and use the arrows. To rotate, press E key. And to scale it, press R. All these options are available at the top right corner. You can check all these shortcuts and more in the description below. Ok, let's create a, a new level. Uh, go over here, click new level and click basic. Click create. Over here we can uh, delete our floor and we can go to the selection and go to the landscape. And over here just click create. back to selection and let's now add some materials go over here click quixel bridge i will dock it up here go to bridge go to collections go to environment uh, natural and this arctic ice and snow if you see this check mark this means that uh, you have already downloaded this uh, asset uh, it doesn't matter i will show you how to do this so we need to add some uh, materials so we can uh, add for example this snow i'll show you how easy it is to add the snow to your level for example this windswept snow click download over here and click over here add and it will add uh, the material to the project you can see this on the left side in the content browser under mega scan surfaces and our snow now select the landscape on the right side scroll a bit down where you see landscape material and just drag and drop material here wait for a few moments if i click over here and click play from here and press f11 if we want to go full screen you can see the snow but i will go f11 to exit and escape to exit the play mode our snow is a bit small so to make it uh, a bigger just double click on it and over, the, over here on the tiling offset just make both this tiling x and y 0.2 and make sure to I'll go over here and save close it and now if i go play from here we have our snow and it's a bit bigger. Next thing to do is to add some cliffs. Just go to the bridge. I will minimize it. I will make this over here. So I can show you how I usually have this on my uh, other monitor. But to show you, you can see ice cliff. Just drag and drop it to the level. And it will uh, add your cliff in a lower resolution. But it will download it while you are uh, creating your level. So let's add other one, others, for example, this one, this one, and we can add also this one. Now I will minimize this. Uh, you can over here go and sort them like this. And if I go play from here, you can see that our cliffs are a little small, so we need to make them bigger. To select them all, make sure that you don't have your landscape selected. Just select first this cliff, hold shift and select all four of them. Over here, make sure that this lock is locked. And now we can change the value, for example, 5. And we will uh, increase the size of all our assets. You can see they are all packed together. So move them like this. Go like this. And if I click play. You can see that they look better now. Okay, we need to sort them out. I will go F11. Uh, so I can see these things better. Now just select it. It's very good uh, to go F11. So you can have the full preview of what you are doing. Select one cliff, uh, make it uh, go rotation over here. You can disable snapping so you can make it move it smoothly. And move it over here. Feel free to move them around to play with them. Okay, let's change the second one, for example. Okay. 
also move this. Third one. And the last one. Okay, we have a problem here, you can see. So we need to rotate it like this. Okay, we have our wall. The next thing is to do is to duplicate this on the another side. So select one cliff, hold shift and select the other, other and the last one, and just hold the Alt key on your keyboard and use this arrow to move it like this. And uh, you can go with the rotation tool with E and rotate it like this or you can go to actor transform and mirror Y okay if, if I click play we have our valley we can make this valley larger so select everything you can also select them by holding control select them one by one but make sure that when you select things, you don't uh, accidentally select the landscape. It will be a problem. So if you select landscape, just control and click on the landscape to select and deselect. And now we will duplicate this. And now it's a bit longer. We can make this over here. Some nice ending. We can add some road here. If you go to the bridge, you can see modular snow road. Just drag and drop it to the level. You can see it will download it. So you don't need to worry. Add road over here. If I play, we can see that our road is just fine. As usual, just copy paste. If you want to go faster, select them all. I would like to move this over here and you can move also it will look better and we can create this dead, dead end over here and now if I go play our valley look much much better of course you can add some details some maybe some uh, rocks stones and uh, other things but this is a beginner level tutorial I don't want to overwhelm you with all these kind of things if you want to add some more uh, variety you can go shift through to the landscape mode you can go to sculpt and tool strength reduce the tool strength and brush size this is just a simple example how you can add some variety to your level uh, this is a simple basic uh, environment design nothing special and uh, the last thing is that we want to add some uh, lightning we want to add some atmosphere if i go right click and play from here you can see we need to reduce the exposure exposure is when you go to the black you see and when you go to the light it will go uh, the light will change we want this light to be static all the time Click over here and type in post process volume. Drag it over here. You can see this box. Uh, this post process volume will affect only what is inside the box. We want to affect the whole level. So to do that, make sure to select your post process volume. You can type extent and infinite extent unbound. Make sure to check this out. And over here, type in exposure. Exposure, you can click over here, metering mode and go to manual and exposure, exposure compensation to be something like this we can go with okay 10 10 looks good and if i click play from here you can see we, we don't have this problem anymore if we go over here it will stay like this and if we go over here our light will stay click this post process volume and move it something somewhere over back there because we don't need it. it it affects the whole level so it doesn't matter where it's located another thing to do is to add some hdri hdri uh, will add some natural light to our environment to add some hdri go to edit plugins and type in hdri this hdri backdrop select it and click restart now okay save everything and our level will be level one 
Okay, after one eternity later, we are back uh, to the Unreal. Uh, go to the content and you can see this level one, double click it to open it and we are back into our level. And now we can add some HDRI to edit, backdrop and we can see the problem. Now just drop it down, but it's a bit small. So select it and change the size, select your HDR backdrop and move it a bit down and now select the HDR backdrop and over here you can see all the different atmospheres that you can choose for example daylight ambient you can change your skies we can make this very uh, gloomy or gray okay let's go with the approaching storm and you can change the intensity over here if you want like this Okay, we can reduce the intensity. Okay, select your post-process field bloom and type in bloom method to be convolution. And you can change the bloom intensity. So if I hit play from here, you can see how it looks. Also, we can go to exponential height fog and type in fog. Go over here on the volumetric fog, click on here. And under the extinction scale, you can add the fog to add some misty effect. If I go play from here, you can see how it looks. And this is it. If you like this tutorial, make sure to visit my channel. You have other uh, tutorials like this. It's very simple and beginner friendly. Uh, let me know if you like this tutorial in the comments below and see you in the next one. Bye bye.